What's up, everybody? In this series, we are breaking down the phases of Kratom addiction recovery. And in our last video, we did just a general overview of what that's going to look like. We talked about the different phases, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing the first phase of this process, and that is recognizing that Kratom addiction is not sustainable, and we, are rec and we recognize the harm that it's done to us in our lives. So this is how it all started off for me. Uh, the first year of my Kratom use, it was awesome to be honest with you like it to me it cured all of the things that i needed help with it um made me want to go and like be around people it made everything better and so the first year was was awesome um and then when i hit about the year mark and moving past that things started to take a turn for the worst um Unfortunately, as my tolerance raised, I would take more Kratom. And so as my dosages went up, the worse I felt and the more that I needed it. So I hit this point around the year mark where it had lost its sparkle, um, but I continued taking it and I continued taking more of it to try to get the same relief that it had given me initially. So at that point, when I was almost at my highest grams per day, which was 40 to 60 grams per day, uh, I started to see a lot of negative things happen. Um, in the first year when I wasn't taking as much, I started noticing things here and there. Um, but once I hit that year mark, things, things really started to decline where uh, I wasn't able to eat really. Uh, I chose not to eat too a lot of times because I would prefer to just take my doses on an empty stomach. And so I was losing a lot of weight and my hair started falling out. Um, I started experiencing what they call inner dose withdrawals where I would take a dose of Kratom and then like when it was still like actively in my system, I would start to go through withdrawals, um, you know, a half an hour to an hour after I would take it. Um, I started to become very, very irritable in between doses and things would make me so angry. Um, I started to notice that when at first I had taken Kratom, it made me love like basically doing anything and being around anybody. And I could talk to like anybody on the street or like, you know, enjoy any sort of interaction or conversation with anybody. And as you know, the time went on in my addiction, I noticed that I became more and more socially uncomfortable and I avoided pretty much any social contacts at a certain point. And it made interacting with anybody feel extremely uncomfortable. And so that was something that, that I noticed as well. And um, so there were a lot of things that were happening at this point that I was recognizing were not okay. And before I was even ready to start thinking about quitting, I had to come to the understanding that this, you know, wasn't this cure all, do no harm herbal supplement that's no addictive, no more addictive than coffee. I had to like come to this like acceptance almost about it. Because I think for some of us, for me at least, you know, we ended up on Kratom thinking that it was like this safe alternative herbal medicine that's legal and that, you know, isn't going to have these risks to it, especially to like, keep in mind, I'll be Kratom free uh, three years coming up here in about how long is it? February 18th is when I'll be three years. So it's around three weeks that I'll be um three years Kratom free. And I was on Kratom for three years. So this was six years ago when I first got into Kratom. And 
when I was doing a bunch of research, because I was studying herbalism at the time to just, you know, to let you know where I was at. And, you know, when all of the research that I did when I learned about Kratom said that it was completely safe and harmless. And so I know that a lot of you have found yourself in this situation too, where like you, you started taking Kratom because you thought it was like this healthy, safe alternative to, you know, other medications and whatnot. And so um, for me, that was a part of this first phase was like coming to the understanding and the acceptance that Kratom wasn't this, you know, completely harmless herb. And um, there wasn't a lot of, you know, like now, I mean, maybe because I didn't know about it, it might have been going on back then, but I'm not sure. Like there's the Quitting Kratom subreddit, you know, there are more and more of these videos and these stories of people sharing their experiences that are, you know, on YouTube and different platforms. So I'm not sure if there was this much of a, of a you know, awareness about the risks of Kratom back when I ended up on it. And maybe there were and I just didn't find them when I was researching because in all the time that I was learning about Kratom before I took it and well, like pretty much, you know, into that first year, I didn't think that it was it was harmless or pardon me, I didn't think that it was harmful. And the first thing that I ever saw that started to kind of shift my thinking, and I thought too, because like when you're in it and when you're on, like when you're on Kratom, especially at first, like it can be, like I said, it was awesome. Like you can think like, oh, this is great. I found the answer to all of my problems and to my, you know, to my pain and to my boredom or whatever. And um, it, it, for me, like, the first time that I saw something any different about that Kratom is like, you know, completely harmless was when um, I was watching a psyched substance video because I watched that dude's channel pretty much from the beginning. And, um, and now it's crazy. He has like, you know, millions of followers, which is just nuts because when I started watching him, I don't even think he had like a hundred K subs and, I, when he started to do the Kratom videos, like I would actually refer to his videos as like, you know, like sources of information that I would, as I was doing my research about Kratom. And so I was watching Psyched Substances videos about Kratom. And uh, after the year mark where I was like noticing that, that there were things that didn't seem right about, about Kratom and like about how much I was needing it and about you know, as my dosages were raising that I wasn't feeling good. And um, Sight Substance put out a video and I forget the name of it, but it was, it was something to the effect of like, I was wrong about Kratom. Because at first, like his videos were saying all of these things that like, you know, it's no more addictive than coffee and that, you know, it's this herbal, legal herbal supplement. And so he painted it in that light at first. And then when he made this video, I'll never forget it, you guys. But like I was, like I said, right over the year mark and things are just getting weird. Okay. Like I'm noticing that especially like the more that I was taking that it was just getting really weird and really dark really quickly. And like my, my, my health, how I'm feeling, like how I'm relating to others, my relationships, like my ability to handle stress you know, where I was going in my career path, like all of this stuff started to like, you know, like it started to affect all of this stuff. And I see this video, okay? And it's like, dude from Psych Substance being like, I was wrong. Like this, this stuff is addictive and I have to come clean about it. And I remember sitting there going, oh no, like, because I had never heard anything other than like Kratom being this like, perfect like do no wrong legal or er herbal supplement i remember being like oh no because i got into kratom you guys like if you're just joining for this video like i got into kratom because i don't even take tylenol okay like i had quit drinking about eight years before i quit kratom i'm at almost 14 years now and when i quit drinking like i went on this whole like hippie mission to like 
not put anything unnatural into my body. And so like, if it wasn't a plant that was not processed and like concentrated in some sort of way, I was down with it. And so when I came across Kratom, I was like, okay, this looks cool. It's just a leaf. It's just ground into a powder. Like it's not, you know, it's not anything harmful and it's supposed to help all of these things that I need help with. And so that video like really started to kind of like shine some light on this because I had gotten, I had gotten in pretty deep at that point and I didn't know any different. So like I'm sharing my experience with this because this is the first phase is like recognizing that like, okay, this, this isn't cool. This is not going to be sustainable. Like this is causing harm to me and to my life. And because it's easy when we're in that, like, you know, that time of being in the sparkle phase where like Kratom just makes everything better and makes everything easier that like, it's hard to think and accept you know, like trust and believe like on this channel here, I have crossed paths with some salty Kratom advocates, <laughs> bless their hearts, but they are so set and like hardcore about their advocacy and their beliefs in Kratom and like people get nasty. Some are cool. And I'm real, and I, I'm sure to let them know that I'm super thankful that they're being cool and respectful, but some are so nasty, you guys. And like, that's the thing is that like, I have to remember before I block them, before I delete their comment and block them, that they're in that, they're in that sparkle phase. They are in that phase where Kratom is awesome. And dude, like I was advocating for Kratom too. I remember in the first year, like, I was trying to tell everybody about Kratom. And, you know, if anybody came to me and said like, hey, Kratom, Kratom is heavily, has a high rate, a high potential for addiction and can cause a lot of damage to your life, I would be like, whatever, you know? So I get it. I get where they're at. But, you know, that's why this is the first part of the process, okay? Is because... You know, it's, you're not even to the point when you get onto these latter phases where you're actually like thinking about quitting and actually quitting and then moving forward in the recovery process, that comes later. First, the first step of this is just going, okay, like this isn't cool. This isn't sustainable. And, you know, I want to let you know that this, this process and these phases this is not a, this doesn't have a linear time frame to it. Like you don't need to like recognize that Kratom isn't cool today and then start tapering tomorrow. Like it takes a minute, especially if you are, if, excuse me, you are in deep, like how I was in deep by that point. Like it takes a minute to wrap your mind around this. And that's why the knowing, you know, the knowing and the accepting that like, okay, this isn't going to work is the first part of it. And it takes, it, it probably will take a minute. For me, after I saw that video, right after the year mark, I spent like six months in this, in this phase, okay? And then I spent six months, when we start getting into these upcoming videos, I spent six months in the preparing to quit phase. So I spent a year, you guys, in these, in these first couple phases. So I'm telling you that to let you know that like this isn't, this isn't to say like, oh, you, you, once you know, you got to quit Kratom tomorrow. It's not like that. And for all of us, there's going to be a different, you know, time frame for, for everything. All of us have different circumstances, different stuff going on in our lives. So this is the first phase, though, at least for me. This is my experience. You know, yours is probably going to be different. But um, cool. When we pick up next time, we're going to be going into um, the preparing to quit phase and what that looks like. So feel free if you have any questions or anything like that, or you'd like support or encouragement where you're at in the process, um, hit us up in the comment section below. There's a lot of good people here in this community. And um, I also um, look forward to encouraging and uplifting you if you need it. So all right, I'll see you next time. Bye.